Why, hello there! It's Mr. McFlanagan, and I got this gameplay yesterday, and it's pretty good. And I started my night off playing some MW2. I played for maybe about an hour, and I think I got nuked like four times in an hour, and I just felt like complete garbage. Like, MW2 sometimes can make you feel like a completely garbage player. So, I dashboarded, turned it off, and not to mention, when this happened, I hadn't played Call of Duty in probably a week, maybe two weeks. I haven't been playing that much COD. So, I got raped on MW2, turned it off, I put my Black Ops 2 disc in, and my Black Ops 2 disc is so wore out, like it's got cracks all around the ring because it spun so much in my Xbox. And look at me, look at me clown on this guy. I miss him, knife him. Right there, in that moment, the world was right. But uh, back to what I was saying, my Black Ops 2 disc has been put through the ringer, but it still works somehow. Now, before I tell you about this gameplay and how I got it, I just want to say, I was watching a Sandy Ravage video probably last week, and he was saying how he has fun in Black Ops 2, because I, sometimes I have trouble having fun in Black Ops 2, because it just gets kind of boring sometimes. And, and also, I get mad at Black Ops 2 quite a bit. I get really just upset, like moments like that, where I'm just not sure if, if that guy outgunned me or not. But uh, what Sandy said was, is to turn your volume off. Play with the volume off. And I thought, man, that sounds impossible. Playing with the volume off, you gotta hear where gunshots are coming for, from and stuff. But what I did, this was my first game of the night, this game we're watching right here. I got into the lobby, and I immediately went and turned my volume off. So I'm playing this whole game with no volume. And I tell you what, it really helped me concentrate on what I was doing and I didn't get so mad because in Black Ops 2 you know the C4s are so loud and like you're playing on Nuketown and everybody's dropping all these Hellstorm missiles, oh quad feed, so everybody's dropping all these uh, Hellstorm missiles and lightning strikes and it's really loud and it's annoying and a lot of the guns are annoying sounding so I just turned the volume off, zoned in and I got a pretty amazing gameplay. Now I want to talk about something real quick because this is a short video. A lot of people have been saying, you know, that Destiny is a great game. And I played Destiny. I played it for the first week. I probably played it every day for a week. And my problem with Destiny, this is my problem, not your problem, because I do realize there's a lot of you out there that love Destiny. And if you love Destiny, hey, I, I'm not disagreeing with you. If you really like it and it's for you, then keep doing it. Keep doing it. If it's, if it's not broken, don't fix it. But my problems with Destiny were that... If you want to be really good at Destiny, it seems like that's the only game you can play. You have to put all your time and all your focus into being good at it. Because I like to be good at games. I'm not going to lie. I like to be good. And another problem I have with Destiny is, to me, it doesn't seem like it does just one game very well. Like, the single player is good, but to me, it's not as good as Borderlands. It's really good, but not as good as Borderlands. The multiplayer is good, but it's to me, it's not as good as Halo, and it's not as good as Call of Duty. Halo, I think, beats it, and I think Call of Duty beats it. But Destiny does offer a lot of options and a lot of different things you can do within the game, but for me, it doesn't do any of those completely excellent. And another thing I want to talk about, because I want to move away from the Destiny topic, is... I've, I've been watching a lot of commentators, and I'm kind of out of ideas at the moment, but this, this one commentator, I'm not going to mention his name, but he says, gameplay doesn't matter. Gameplay doesn't matter. And I've heard this from a few different guys. Gameplay doesn't matter. Well, to me, I make videos to entertain. And even if you're the greatest commentator in the world, and you're watching somebody who just sucks at playing the game, it's hard to take their opinion seriously. It's hard to take them seriously. It's hard to watch a guy just get ran through a meat grinder, just getting destroyed while he's talking to you about Call of Duty. I don't know if that... Does that make sense to you? I want to see good gameplay. When I hear commentaries, I want to see good gameplay. That's why I've actually slowed down my uploads because I don't play as much Call of Duty, and I don't want to put subpar, mediocre gameplays up. I'm going to put beast gameplays up that are fun to watch. And what's interesting about this gameplay is if Black Ops 2 always played like this, like right now all my bullets are counting. Everything is on point. When I get in gunfights, like you see me juke that kid in the doorway and then turn on that kid, like everything is falling into place. But when sometimes when you play Call of Duty with the connection, it seems like your bullets just don't quite do the same amount of damage, and it's very inconsistent. That's, that's the problem for me with Black Ops 2, is it's very inconsistent. Sometimes when it's like this, it's one of the funnest games ever made, but it's just very incons inconsistent.
So I'm hoping with Advanced Warfare, maybe it'll be a little more consistent because it's a fresh game, lots of players playing, and the connection should be pretty good. That's something I am excited about with uh, Advanced Warfare is just good connections. But I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. I'm Mr. McFlanagan. I'll see you later. Tell him.